A little better than six thirds. I feel God right now. I feel the fire of God right now. Praise the Lord. Precious servants of the Most High God, watchmen on the walls, warriors, soldiers, those that are equipped, those that have been sent out to do your missions, those of you that have received your instructions, who know the voice of the shepherd, those of you that uplift, those of you that are intercessors, yes, those of you that that constantly send up your prayers to the Father of creation for the salvation of souls. This is to encourage you. This is to give you a bit of a push. Okay? Because I see I see what the enemy is trying to do and Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I feel God right now really strong. I see what the enemy is doing. I see the ways that he's working. And God has already told me beforehand, before what I see now, he, he already told me that it was going to happen. I just didn't know how it was going to happen. So, guys, I want to encourage you. You guys who are the soldiers, you guys who take the hit, you guys who are on the front lines, you guys who speak the truth of God in the face of who knows how many people who, who, are, who are against you, you guys, I want to encourage you. Continue doing what you're doing. Do not back down. Remain in love because this is, this is your greatest weapon. Love is your greatest weapon. You know, like, what did Jesus say? He said, be as shrewd as serpents and innocent as doves. Have that balance of firmness, but keep that gentleness and that kindness, because this is how you advance. This is how you serve the Lord. This is how you draw people. This is how... You become more of a an effective vessel when you're operating in love. So continue in love. But I want to tell you guys, do not for one second drop your swords. Do not for one second lower your shields. Remain on the offense. And by offense, I mean remain on your post. Remain where God has you because you are there to put down, to, to remove the powers of darkness according to where God has you. So do not drop your swords for a moment. Do not let the enemy remove you. Don't let him do that. Don't let him scare you away. Don't let him do that because all the enemy has for the most part, all that he has is words. It's all that he has, and any power that he that he has is given to him from guess who? Our heavenly Father. And we know that the battle is already won. You guys, if this applies to you, be strengthened. Be strengthened, and do not be moved. Do not waver. You know, like if if you if you get hit by one of those fiery arrows, um. That talks about in Ephesians, I believe it's Ephesians, where it talks about the armor of God. If you get hit with one of those fiery arrows, bounce back. Get right back onto your spot, because God has you there for a reason. And no, bride, praise the Lord, before I even, before it even came out of my mouth, the Lord just showed me 444, which means departure. And know that you are not going to be on your post for much longer, because just like how Enoch walked with God, and then he was not. 
right now. You're on your post and you're fighting. You are on the front lines for now in this form. And then you will be not. You will be no more. And then God is going to take over from there. So I just want to encourage you. Do not drop your swords. Do not drop your shields. Remain where you are. God bless you. Bye.